Uh, we are about to be joined, I understand, by the president, uh, the former president of the United States, who you know gave the Presidential Medal of Freedom uh, in 2020 at the State of the Union Address to Rush Limbaugh. President Trump, are you with me? I am, and it was a great honor to do so when we gave the uh, Medal of Freedom. It was something special. It was an incredible night. Uh, we gave it during the uh, State of the Union Address, and it was uh, especially half the room. Half the room went crazy, and the other half the room, they knew, uh, they knew he should get it. But it was special, and he was special. Mr. President, you know, thank I'm, you for I'm joining us. When was the last well, time you, you spoke with Rush Limbaugh? Uh, three or four days ago. I'd call him just to find out. You know, his, his fight was very, very courageous, and he was very, very sick. And, you know, from diagnosis on, it was just something that was not going to be beaten. But you wouldn't know it. And he is married to an incredible woman, Catherine, who really— Every time I spoke to him, he, he would tell me how great she was. She took such great care. He was very brave. I mean, he, in theory, could have been gone four months ago, really. He just, he was fighting till the very end. He was a fighter. While, and you, were, a great yeah, while you were in the White House, how, how did you view how he either carried on your message or uh, chose to agree or disagree with the policies you had as commander in chief? Well, first of all, you know, you just had Sean on, Sean Hannity, who's was incredible. And Sean would say there is nobody like Rush. Sean was the first to say that he, I, I used to say, well, what do you think? Someday, and he'd say he's irreplaceable. Rush is irreplaceable, unique. Uh, he had an audience that was massive. And, you know, he could do something, Bill, and, and uh, he, would, he would get up in the show and would just talk. He wouldn't take phone calls where, you know, people would call in every two minutes and that's sort of easy to do. He would just talk for two hours and three hours, just talk. And that's not an easy thing to do. And I once asked him, I said, do you study for the show? Or, and he said, actually, I study very hard, <laughs> which, which a little bit, Harris, that a little bit surprised me. But, but he was a fantastic man, a fantastic talent. And uh, people, whether they loved him or not, they respected him. They really did.